So you want to combine two or more scenes in a different way so you don't have to worry about everything being together and you can kind of make a whole layer system. Hey guys, welcome back to by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 once again taking a look at how to pretty much do what I just said. We're going to create a couple different scenes and stack them using layers. Um, uh, like they're, stack them like they're layers rather. So we're going to get started. I have this first scene up here. You can see it's just called Scene. Um, this is the default scene, obviously, what we have. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit 0 to go into our camera's view. I'm just going to select our camera and hit G and double tap Z to scroll it out just a little bit so we have some more space. I'm going to grab our lamp so you can tell the difference between our scenes and go to the rendered viewport shading. So now this lamp right here, I'm going to turn this one to uh, blue so you can tell the difference. I'm going to leave the background the way that it is. So if I render this right now, you can see that it's just going to render just like how we pretty much see it right there. So that's the first scene. I'm going to go up here and go to this little button right here. Click that and click new. And then uh, I'm going to go to the world tab, hit new, and now we have that gray background again. So. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, the Scene tab here and scroll all the way down to Film and check Transparent. And I'm also going to go ahead and hit Shift A and add in a uh, Suzanne the Monkey. I'm going to hit R to rotate it a little bit, you know, just rotate it up, hit S to scale it and move it off to the side there. And then I'll give this a different material that's not the blue one. So we'll just make Suzanne like green or something. And then we'll add in a lamp, so Shift A, lamp. So I'm, I'm pretty much just setting up our scene here. Um, so we can actually combine them in a second. I'm turning the power of the lamp up just so we can see what's going on here. So we have two different scenes now. Uh, we have this scene and we have this scene. So uh, we can go ahead. We can go ahead and combine these now, and it'll we'll be able to have different effects. This was actually asked. Um, because I did a tutorial about gradients and the gradient background that I use would affect the rest of the scene and we don't want that obviously because we want, we want you to be able to do whatever you want uh, however you want to do it. So I'm going to go to compositing up here and get rid of this right here because we don't need that. Um, but before, before we do that I'm actually going to go ahead and go to the first scene here up here you see scene. I'm going to hit render and we're going to render that one and then we're going to go to the second scene and make sure we also have rendered that one. Oh, oh that, that's right, that's right, that's right. We need to add in a camera. So shift A, uh, camera, and then zero, G, double tap Z. There we go. So it's in the same exact place. All right, there we go. Now we can hit render, and it will render properly. There we go. Okay, so we can go back to compositing and hit uh, use nodes. We're going to go ahead and grab this render layers and composite and move them apart. We're going to grab render layers, hit shift D to duplicate it. And then we're going to change this first scene to scene right there. So we change both of those. Hit Shift A, uh, search, and we're going to add another uh, node here. We're going to add the alpha over node. We're going to grab that right there and put that right there to break up the render layers and composite. So we have the first scene for the render layers. We have the second scene for the render layers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the image into the bottom, the, the, the scene one into the bottom of the alpha over. But when you, you, you can see, if I go ahead and hit Shift A, search, uh, viewer, grab that so we can see what's going on, and then plug, the com uh, plug it from composite into viewer so we can see it. You can now see that both of our layers have been combined, and now our scenes are acting like layers in which we can you know put them where they go. If I hit V a couple times, I zoom out there. You can see now, like I said, both of them are combined together. So that's uh, pretty much it. If you want to go ahead and uh, make sure that you have this hooked into composite, because if you don't, then it won't render if you have it just hooked up into viewer. So we can do this as many times as you want to. You can uh, hook up another scene here and and do more and more and more. Of course, you just have to duplicate this alpha over node here and plug in another one of these. Uh, let's say this is a different one. It's not, though, but I can go ahead and I think I'm, I think I can move this. I think there's a transform node. Yeah, uh, if I hook this up, I probably can get it to. Yep, there we go. There we go. Perfect. So now you can see if uh, if you have another one, you can put it right there. You can, you know, wherever you have them, you can combine all your scenes and the lighting, as you can see, is not affecting the other objects at all. So hope you boys and girls enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.